China is worried that its engineers, technical personnel, and nationals are coming under attack from unidentified groups in Pakistan. China says that it is going to support Pakistan in its fight against terror. But China does not do the same for India. China blocked the designation of Jaish e Mohammed Masood Azhar as a global terrorist four times. China continues to block the designation of Hafi Saeed San Tala Saeed, Masood Azhar's brother Mufti Rauf Azgar, and the man who was singularly responsible for the Mumbai massacre, Sajid Mir. China does not blame Hamas for the October 7 attack against Israel. It actually quite supported Hamas. For India, terrorism is terrorism without any conditions. For China, terrorism is all with conditions and all with politics of terror. No! Namaskar. After five Chinese engineers were killed, in a suicide attack in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa at the Dasu hydroelectric project, Beijing said that it was committed to fight against global terrorism and will support Pakistan in its fight against terror. Now, these are very high sounding words coming from China, considering that it has multiple standards when it comes to terrorism like its client state, Pakistan. Let me tell you why. China is worried that its engineers, technical personnel and nationals are coming under attack from unidentified groups in Pakistan, whether it be Dasu hydroelectric project in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gwadar uh, project or in Karachi. Fact is, that all these places, there are insurgencies which are working against the Pakistan government, which has actually given space to China to exploit the natural resources of that country. That the Chinese nationals have been facing terror attacks in Pakistan since 2021, after its nine engineers were targeted the same Dasu hydroelectric project. There was an attack, terror attack, three Chinese tutors were killed at the Confucius Institute in Karachi. There have been multiple attacks at Gwadar port against the Chinese and the Chinese per se are facing a lot of resentment in all areas of Pakistan except Punjab. China says that it is going to support Pakistan in its fight against terror. But China does not do the same for India. Let me tell you that China blocked the designation of Jaish e Mohammed Masood Azhar as a global terrorist four times before Indian allies, US, France and UK told China that they would take the matter up in the General Assembly and embarrass Beijing. It was only after that that Masood Azhar, who is responsible for thousands of deaths in India in terror attacks, was labeled as a global terrorist. Same is the case with Abdul Rahman Makki, that is brother-in-law of lashkar e Taibas, Hafiz Saeed, who was designated after multiple blocks by China. What is interesting is that China continues to block the designation of Hafiz Saeed San Tala Saeed, Masood Azhar's brother, Mufti Rauf Azgar, and the man who was singularly responsible for the Mumbai massacre, Sajid Mir. It was Sajid Mir who told the terrorist at Nariman Point, Hubbard House, to take a headshot at the hostages. These were Israeli hostages. But this does not stop over here. After the UN designated Masood Azhar as a global terrorist under the 1267 committee, in May 2019, China made attempts to get innocent Indians 
designated as terrorists with the help of Pakistan. But this is not all what China has done. For those who have forgotten that after Masood Azhar was designated as a global terrorist under the UN 1267 committee, China at the instigation of Pakistan decided to be part of a conspiracy to designate innocent Indians working in Afghanistan as global terrorists. Let me remind you the names of Apaji Angara, G.P. Dugga Vilasa, Ajoy Mistri, Venu Madhav Dongarai. All these people were engineers working in projects in Afghanistan before the Taliban stepped in. So to say that China actually is in support of global terrorism is a misnomer because China has its own double standards. Now the problem in this is that China thinks that Dalai Lama is a terrorist. China thinks that militants operating in Xinjiang of East Turkestan Islamic movement are terrorists. But China definitely does not think that people who are targeting India from Pakistan are terrorists. Let me remind you that when Pulwama attack happened, China did not utter a word against Pakistan, despite 40 CRPF troopers being killed in the attack. All China sanctimoniously said was that while it is very much condoling the death of the 40 paratroopers, it wanted India to resume dialogue with Pakistan. So the Chinese double standards are quite evident. Let me give another example. China does not blame Hamas for the October 7 attack against Israel. It actually quite supported Hamas as it found Israel to be on the wrong side. While for India, terrorism is terrorism without any conditions. For China, terrorism is all with conditions and all with politics of terror. Just like China, Pakistan has its own set of good and bad terrorist groups. For Pakistan, Tehrike Taliban Pakistan is a terrorist group now, which the other day was a friendly group operating in Afghanistan against the Americans. The Baluch Liberation Army is a terrorist group because it is targeting the Chinese at Gwadar port. There are Sindhi nationalist groups which are terrorist groups because they are again targeting the Chinese and the Pakistani forces in Sindh. But terrorist groups like jaish e mohammad lashkar e taiba are all part of Pakistan's state policy as they target India in its delusional dream about capturing Kashmir. Fact of the matter is that it is both for China and Pakistan to come together with the global community and have a single definition of what a terrorist group is and what terrorism is. It cannot be that Kashmir terrorism is good, Hamas terrorism is good, but terrorism in Pakistan is bad and terrorism in Xinjiang or Tibet is bad. It is for China to realize that the Pakistani establishment cannot operate in sections when it comes to dealing with terrorism. While the good terrorists against India are allowed a free pass, the bad terrorists are targeted. This is not the way the terrorists behave. After all, the terror factory in Pakistan produces a whole lot of number of terrorists who later acquire brands. But the fact is, their extremist ideology remains the same, be it against India or against China or against the world. The sooner both China and Pakistan realize that there are no good or bad terrorists, there will be better resolution of their problems which they are currently facing both in Pakistan and in China. And these 
problems regarding the terrorist groups are going to mount in the coming days as tehreek e taliban pakistan baluch liberation army and other sectarian groups operating in pakistan have risen up and will take on the state in the coming days namaskar no!